What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to muscle up 360. All right, so let's get started. So today I'm gonna to continue with how to freestyle calisthenics series, and I'm gonna show you another move to add to your arsenal, the Muscle Up 360. Now before we begin to learn the Muscle Up 360, it's super important that you can pass the requirements comfortably with perfect form. And the requirements are at least 10 explosive muscle ups using the bar pop technique that I showed you guys in the last video, how to jump on the bar. So if you haven't seen that video already, go ahead, watch that video, the link is in the description. Learn how to muscle up bar pop, and then you can really begin to learn the muscle up 360. So, if you've been able to complete the requirements, you're ready to learn the muscle up 360. And the first thing that we need to do for the muscle up 360 is to really master our 360 spin. So the first technique that I have to show you guys is a jump squat 360. We're actually gonna use our arm, our arm's weight and our arm's motion to steer that 360 all the way when we're jumping in the air. It should look like this. Jump. So if you saw my arm helped me go around the whole rotation. Let me show you with the other arm. So as you can see, I'm turning and looking at the side that I'm turning on, as well as using this arm to push out and then let it lead my body. Guys, do not try to jump and try to literally turn your body with this movement. Your arm and the facial direction that you're facing is gonna turn your entire body. Rely on this technique when you're doing your 360s and you're gonna be able to do 360s with perfect form, really fast, really elegantly, which is the whole point. I want you guys to do at least 20 reps with perfect form using one arm, 20 reps with perfect form using the other arm. And once you can pass this, which shouldn't be too hard, you're ready to start taking this little technique onto the bar. So here we go. All right, so once you guys have mastered your 360, you're ready to start taking your 360 off a bar pop. So first, let me show you what it looks like. It should look like this. All right, so let me break this move down. What you guys wanna do for the very first progression is do a bar pop with the same exact technique and as soon as you're about to let go of that bar pop, I want you to let go with the hand first of the backside you're gonna turn on. So if you're gonna turn to the left, you're gonna release with your left hand first. Now, just like I showed you with the 360 jump squat technique, how you led with your face and your hand, you're gonna use that same exact technique to do the 360 when you're coming off the bar right here. Another th cool thing that you can do is as you're letting go, and you're starting to turn and steer with this hand, you have this hand still on. If you'd like, you can just give it a little extra push as you're letting go. So you would come off with this hand steer, give a little extra push, and then just always stay looking that way you're turning. Never turn around or you're gonna stop turning in the middle of the air. Now, when you're first doing this movement, you don't have to actually grab and catch it. For the very first time, you should just be focusing on doing the bar pop and adding the 360 movement right after that bar pop. Getting really comfortable with that move, getting really familiar with this movement. And most importantly, stopping right in front of the bar. Do not pop off and go far back, but you wanna stay very close to the bar because this is gonna prepare you to actually catch it when you're ready. So for the very first progression, let's just do the bar pop and right after the bar pop, we're gonna go with the 360. Here we go. Well, I just caught it there, that's like, a natural reaction. But you guys, literally, you don't have to catch it. You can just land. If you want, this is still a little too scary for you or it's intimidating, you don't even have to go a full 360. You can just start with the 180. So if this is the bar pop, from there, I want you to just do that and land turned around. Right here. But as you can see, you have to still go all the way through with that pop. You have to bring your legs out, you have to push up, and you have to make sure that you tuck your legs in. Because if you don't do all these steps, you're gonna spin really close to the bar or you're not gonna get that height 
that pop with your 360. And that's super important to be able to come back down and catch it on time smoothly and comfortably. So once you guys have been practicing the 180 for a while, you can begin to start making that 180 into a 270, eventually moving your way all the way to a 360. Almost there. So when you find yourself right about here, this is when you're ready to take it to the next progression. We're gonna go with that 360, but instead of just landing right in front, I want you to touch the bar. You don't have to touch it with two hands, but at least touch it with one. Try to grab it, really. Once you master that, you're ready to grab it with the next hand, or at least just tap it if you can. The muscle memory will work its way. You'll eventually just be grabbing it without even thinking about it. You just have to keep drilling this move. All right, so you basically wanna master this move right here. The better you are with that pop at the beginning, the higher your 360 will be. You'll get way more pop, way more height. But regardless, you wanna make sure that you can actually grab the bar before your feet even touch the ground. That's an indicator to know that you're ready to try this on a high bar. So before you guys move on to the high bar, I suggest you do this at least 10 times in a row with perfect form, landing, grabbing the bar every single time before your feet actually touch the ground. Once you're super confident, I mean, you have to drill this, you have to be, you can practically do this with your eyes closed. Once you are completely confident with this move, you catch it every single time before your feet even touch the ground, that's when you're ready to take it to the high bar. All right, so now that we've mastered the 360 on the low bar, now we're gonna redo all the progressions that we just went through on the high bar. So if you practice these and you drill these and you can be able to do them comfortably with perfect form, you should eventually be able to do a perfect 360 with ease without even thinking about it. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you at all, like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because we post every Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And the first person to like, comment, and share this video is always gonna win some Thenx gear. I know there was a lot of information, a lot of progressions slam packed into this really quick video. So if you guys want the full breakdown of how to do this move and a whole bunch of other moves like the handstand, muscle up, full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna get you in the best shape of your life. Not just looking strong, but actually being strong. We have Thenx members that have taken our programs and have transformed their lives and capabilities 100%. Things that people train for years to do, like the handstand and the muscle up, we have Thenx members learning in the matter of weeks and sometimes even days. So if you want that to be you, definitely sign up to Thenx.com right now, become a member, download our app to take our workouts with you everywhere and start changing your life today. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace out.